come up piece. <laughs> I have several options. Stay a little bit longer whilst it burns beneath me, but paddle closer to the big, beautiful ship that I have over here, or fuck it, it's burning my feet anyway, let me just jump in now. But let me climb into the water, let me pull apart the raft, let me take one of the logs, to keep me afloat whilst I swim. If you really do believe in the the boat that you've built and that it's absolutely ready for you and you're ready for it. This is where I see Raina's wardrobe at. And this is probably something that she would wear into court or mediation. I would love to see her in something like this and this and this. Obviously it's still very business but slightly more adventurous in her choices and stuff. She's very much comfortable in her position as a partner at a major law firm. It's wonderful for your creative talents to be modern, understood. I don't know, in my head it was like the commercial would be more modern, like it would be more like streamlined, we're a robot, we can help you. You know what I mean? Grace's wardrobe becoming a little bit real. Fashion forward. Office. Office. Day to night office. Androgynous. Oh, I just love, I just really love it. Oh, oh wow. Anyway, just really love it. Now we fly it. My name is Kim Cavell. I am an actor and filmmaker. You may have gathered by the title of the video that this is going to be a full breakdown of my boxing workout. I'm currently training for a role. Obviously, I play a boxer and I've been training for the role before the script was even finished. I would still consider myself an amateur, but I'm well on my way to developing a certain level of skill set that I can bring into pre-production because we're not even started pre-production yet and I'm already training for the role. That's just how much I believe in what I is that I'm doing. Maybe you can draw some inspiration from that. I hope that you can. I start every workout with some shadow boxing. Despite the fact that I've been training for quite some time, it had been several months since I'd seen my coach and really done shadow boxing. My footwork's always been decent, but again, that's something to brush up on. The shadow boxing, if things are causing me issue or I'm having like a hard time getting into the rhythm, it's just about slowing it down and tapping into that muscle memory. Your body already knows. Like I say, I've already done these drills before. I can tell that I'm a little bit in my head about it. The left hook is already giving me some trouble. It always gives me trouble. My coach had noticed that I had made improvements on the left hook. I had been doing some bag work at the boxing gym, but again, there's something, there's something about hitting a bag at the gym which makes it feel less awkward but when you're actually shadow boxing and someone's watching you, there's something about that for that me. It makes me a little self-conscious, believe it or not. I think because naturally I'm good at most sports, so when I'm not sort of excellent at something, I get a little bit self-conscious. I want it to be good so bad that, um, yeah, sometimes I feel insecure about it. Your body struggles to remember things when you're not relaxed. That's one thing that uh, I learned really early on in boxing. One of the reasons why I wrote Vivian, my character, as a boxer is because I actually have long arms, which would work really, that would work really well if I ever wanted to actually be a boxer. You can see my coach talking me through my range right here. And he's basically going through the pivot of my hips with regard to my two. The one being the jab, the two being the right cross. And the difference proper form in regard to my hips and my feet placement does to increase the range. And the left hook always comes much easier after throwing ones and twos. So to isolate the hook, I can go off the back of a slowed down cross. That makes it easier. Or even just like a stationary, my arms in that final position of the cross and then go straight into the left hook. To shadow box a left hook straight off the bat is actually pretty difficult for me. Part of a combination and the head movement as well. It's coming quite naturally. Again, it's taken me a few rounds to get there because the left hook always gives me that kind of trouble. I absolutely love my videographer for getting this in slow-mo. It looks really cool. One thing I did notice is with regard to shooting for film, not necessarily just training as a fighter, but the tension that I'm holding in my face absolutely has to be a choice. It cannot be just permanently there. It's something that I can manipulate depending on the scene in the movie. So that's something that I need to work on. Also, watching the footage back, I'm able to kind of analyze what looks good on screen. I'm gonna go into this in another video with regard to the physique and the physique goals specific to this role. 
but um, there will be a lot of focus in terms of shot choices, shoulders, back, abs, and there are things that I'm looking at now that need to be developed and certain areas that need to be leaned out in order for the muscles to pop and look as impressive as possible. Seeing it all back on film really gives you the chance to, to look at that in an objective way. I'm also aware of my own capabilities with regard to body shape, body composition, leanness, etc. And, and again, what angles work best for me. So somebody else could take on this role and the shots that will be chosen will differ. Things that I'm gonna be working on is my leanness so that my back and the backs of my legs hold a little bit more body fat than the front. So by the time that they lean out, my abs will definitely be visible. You can already see that my obliques and uh, the tops of my abs are somewhat visible. You can see in this um, freeze frame, that my forearm looks pretty impressive, my obliques are there. Um, again, there's too much tension in my face, but I know that I can come in with rounder looking shoulders that will make me look more impressive, stronger. I have such a hard time shadow boxing and uppercut. As I glove up, you'll notice that my coach isn't using the mitts. So to start with, we're moving very slow. We're not using too much power. He's using his bare hand so he can tell what tension is in my hand and to take notes really to slow it down in the beginning to create that muscle memory again that we're building on from shadow boxing. We're going really slow with the basics, ones and twos. It doesn't matter how many times I've done it. It doesn't matter how many times I've seen him. He's gonna talk me through it really slow. And again, with my footwork, he's, he's micromanaging my footwork, even though he knows that it's pretty decent and he'll tell me that he's micromanaging it in the beginning just to make sure that we're cleaning it up as much as possible as we move forward. Same with my hip movement. You'll notice when I throw the right cross, I'm coming in an upward motion. I'm using the mechanism in my arm as opposed to my shoulders and he's correcting that right here. It's not necessarily how well you can throw ones, twos, uh, hooks and uppercuts. It's more so the head movement that we've really tried to hone in on. And that's the kind of thing that I can tell watching footage back that makes you look more of a professional than anything else. Most people can throw decent punches, but it's in the head movement, the placements of the hand, and also the footwork, the position of my hips, and how I move around what would be the ring is what is gonna have the audience believe that I am a professional. The story isn't following me in development. Vivian is already a professional fighter, so it's really important that I come in with that movement already naturally in my body. He's giving me a note here to not run in place. Imagine an axis down the middle of your forehead, down your nose, down the middle of your chin. That's how you're moving your head from side to side. A common mistake that people make is running in place, which is moving your hands, but not moving your head. So you'll see him pull, pull me up on this right here. Although my footwork is pretty good, at this point he's pulling me up on my stance. But with regard to my balance, it's not necessarily about being knocked out, more so knocked down. Okay, I'm just gonna let the boxing footage speak for itself. If I be honest, loving you the hardest, so I keep to myself I feel like I'm falling In and out of consciousness Yeah Now we starting to talk Let's kill another progress Really hard to process You treat me like an object Baby, we toxic Can we stay on topic? I feel like we lost it Feel like we lost it Take my love, don't waste it even though I don't mind waiting Late test my mind racing What else I have to do, girl? I really want you
can't stop bleeding If you won't lead, then go and lead Just like everybody else If you don't like my company, then I'll do life by myself Girl, you love like a drug, it ain't good for my health Even though it's killing me, girl, I love you to die Take my love, don't waste it Even though I don't mind waiting Late test my mind racing what else I have to do, girl? I really want you. Oh, I want you. Yeah. I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you. It was a tough shoot for me. I can see as I'm saying goodbye to my coach that I just didn't want the workout to end. And I think that's because I was going through a lot. So it's just a reminder to anybody watching to find the joy in the little things throughout your day. And just to give yourself patience with, you know, whatever you're going through. Help. He just asked me to have a ride home. I used to cycle here, like a two-hour bike ride. So I sold my car. I'd be here every week if I hadn't done that. But, like, I really try to come here every week, but man... I would be so dehydrated and just fucking exhausted. It was like my one day off of work. The doctor said that I should run less and eat more. Fuck her. Can't she see I'm so stressed and full of these dark thoughts? All about my friend Morph. She said, who's Morph? I said, this Morph. She said, ah, dysmorphia. Head over head. And I guess. Love to watch the way you made me into a mess. Hands on my dress. Neon red. You were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes and every stranger I'll replay the way that we were too high No, it's not right Believe in you, and and I know God has a lot for you. <laughs> <laughs>